It's official. The brand new Kia logo will debut in the United States on the nose of a minivan. The Sedona, a longtime favorite of value shoppers in need of space, comfort, and convenience, will be replaced in 2022 with the all-new Carnival. And while that name may sound familiar as it's been used overseas for years, this Carnival is a brand new ride for Americans. The design is decidedly not typical of a family hauler. Like the Sedona before it, the 2022 Carnival drops the typical jelly bean profile of so many minivans for something much boxier and blockier. The grille has a concave style fitted with plenty of mirrored, multifaceted elements. The running lamps zag across the Carnival's face like heat lightning, and the front quarter panels and A-pillars mimic the silhouette of an SUV. Down the side, there's almost no lateral curve along the top or bottom edge. This is a slab-sided piece of art. The chrome C-pillar element furthers the Carnival's SUV styling. Were it not for the placement of their handles, we'd nearly expect the rear doors to swing open like a Ford Explorer's. At the back, the thick brake light bar stretches the width of the minivan, proudly displaying Kia's new logo in large lettering. Inside, the Carnival can be optioned with a sophisticated interior. Leather, chrome, and metal all come together for a well-crafted look and feel. A textured metal accent, similar to the outlining trim around the Kia Seltos' grille, runs the length of the dash. Knobs, admittedly small knobs, but knobs nonetheless, exist for volume and tuning. The shifter is a standard lever design, and you can option a Carnival with not one, but two moonroofs. There's seating for seven or eight, depending on configuration, and there's plenty of space, too. 145.1 total cubic feet of cargo space puts it at the head of its class, although the second seats need to be physically removed as they don't fold into the floor like a Chrysler Pacifica's. But while the Pacifica might offer quilted leather pillows for its second row, those don't come close to what Kia has to offer with the VIP lounge seating options. The heated and ventilated second row seats feature big headrests and they recline with integrated footrests. That sort of comfort would normally cost you a four-figure first-class ticket. The new Carnival will be built on Kia's new platform, also underpinning the 2021 Sorento and the 2021 K5 sedan. Under the hood, Kia's 3.5-liter V6 engine delivers 290 horsepower and enough grunt to safely tow 3,500 pounds. The Carnival features multiple drive modes, normal, eco, sport, and smart, so it's prepared no matter if you're trying to save gas on your way to soccer practice or running late dropping the kids off at school. Included as standard technology, all Kia Carnival shoppers receive an 8-inch touchscreen display, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a slew of advanced safety features, including automatic emergency braking, blind spot monitoring and avoidance, rear cross-traffic alert, and lane keeping assist. Even if you're not the world's biggest minivan fan, there's a lot to love about the new Kia Carnival. Although pricing isn't yet available, we expect the Carnival to come in a smidge lower than its competitors, the Honda Odyssey, Toyota Sienna, and Chrysler Pacifica. Would you take Kia's brand new minivan or one of the others? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the CarGurus YouTube channel for more videos.